Hello everyone. Hope you are ready for today's class. Today we are going to learn about knuckle profile. As you know, knuckle profile is a modification of square profile, square profile or square thread. So, let's see how to modify square profile to get a knuckle profile and how to decide standard dimensions for knuckle profile. As you can see, it's a square thread or a square threaded profile. Now, knuckle profile can be formed by rounding of the corners, corners of square thread to such an extent that it has a complete rounded profile. Complete rounded profile means circular, full circular or half circular. Now, as you can see, these are squares of size 0.5p and 0.5p. This length is equals to 0.5p, depth is also equals to 0.5p. Now, if you draw a line, straight line, thin line, through its center, center or midpoint, passing through all midpoints, and again, center of this, center of this means this point, this point is the center of this square. So, draw a line through these two midpoints, also from this midpoint you will get the center this is the center similarly this is the center mark all the centers now we are looking for a round profile round means from this center if we assume this point as center and this much as radius radius means half of 0.5p so this is 0.5 of p, half of 0.5 p means 0.25 of p. So this is center, this much 0.25 p as radius. If we draw a semicircle like this for crest and for root, again from the next center, this is center, this much 0.25 of p as radius. Another semicircle like this. And if we repeat this process for every crest and every root, crest to root, crest to root. We'll get a knuckle profile. So crest to root, crest to root. Crest, crest, for root, for root. So, this is a knuckle profile, knuckle of round profile. Right. So, for knuckle profile, standard dimensions are pitch, then half of pitch, 0.5 of P, and 0.25 of pitch. This is radius. Here, from first center to the corresponding center, pitch, half of pitch, wall or total depth is half of pitch, 0.5 P, and radius, radius for crests and roots or simply radius for these flanks are 0.25 of p. Now let's move to problem. This problem was asked in 2017 for 8 marks. Draw to scale 1 is to 1. The standard profile of a knuckle thread external taking a large pitch 60 mm give standard dimensions. In the problem pitch is 60 mm so given value of p pitch is 60 mm 0.5 p 30 mm and 0.25 of p 0.25 of pitch or radius of rotation is 15 mm now we are required to draw this part this part means again 
we have to focus on its cross sectional area. So we will start from this line, touching crest, then roots, then center line. So we have to draw three lines, three lines parallel to each other and 0.25 p apart. So here what you have to do is draw first line, then second line, center line, parallel to first line and 0.25 apart, 0.25 p apart or 15 mm apart, then third line for roots again 15 mm apart. Distance or gap between rest and center line is 15 or 0 0.25 pitch. Next step, mark centers of rotation for upper and lower part or these centers on the center line 0.5 p apart because the distance between two centers is 0.5 p. So mark centers along center line at a distance of 0.5 of p. 0.5 p for all. Now, if you wish, again mark midpoints of this sector, or from first point, from first point, mark distance of 0.25 p, 0.25 p, 0.25 p, 0.25 p. Now, this is my first center, second center, third center, fourth and fifth center from second center or starting from first center draw root or crest from the first center draw upper curved portion crest part or lower portion root part so from this center this is center this point is center 0.25 or height this is the height 0.25 or this much as radius draw upper semicircular part like this then from the next center this is an x center this point as center this much as radius radius equals 2.25 drop lower or root circle again from this center This is your lower part again from the next center, upper semicircle again from the next uh, center, lower semicircle, and so on. So, this is my next center again, upper. And then from the next center, this is next center, lower. So it's a combination of semicircles of radius 0.25 of D. this part so using short break line finish your work so this is the profile profile of knuckle thread next step please draw section all our hitching lines parallel to each other and 
distance or gap between two lines. This gap is 1 mm, 1.5 mm, 2 mm, 2.5 mm or 3 mm. But I think 2 mm is enough. So please go for 2 mm. An angle, angle from first base or angle from horizontal reference is 45. So at an angle of 45 and gap between two lines equals to 2 mm. Please draw hatching lines for your profile. Next dimension from center, first of all, please draw center line. It's a center line. So we have to construct it as per recommendation. So it's a chain line and draw center lines from all centers like this these are center lines okay so now next is dimensioning length is your pitch this is equals to half of pitch 0.5 of p and the radius Pitch. Next, dimension table. And naming of the profile. It's a knuckle profile.
circular portion because these are dark visible outlines right this thread is a combination of circles upper semicircle and lower semicircle and so upper semicircle from the center and lower semicircle from this center. So it's a combination of circular threads. That is why this thread can withstand high wear and rough usage. And that is why this type of thread is also used in railway coupling carriage. Now I'll request you to please draw this profile on your sheet. Show height or depth, then pitch, half of pitch, radius, Draw dimensioning table for standard dimensions, pitch, half of pitch, radius, and write profile of knuckle screw thread or knuckle screw thread or knuckle threaded profile. And if you have any doubt, any problem in this thread, please write your comment in the comment section. Thank you.